Every time they help you, I you. I hope you. Okay. I hope you take your mask off. Cute, Jerry. The question still remains. And then, do you moisturize your ass? Show. Sure. <laughs> Yo. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Um. We in the world. You know. Um. With the random guys. My name is Jerry Moxpingi, and I'm in the world. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you're not in the world, you're probably missing out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, catch a bus, mm-hmm. get on a get on a bike. I don't know if you don't have like a better transportation. I don't know, but yeah. whatever where you are, come to the world immediately. And I am chilling here with uh, a random guy. Yes. You know, you've seen his, yeah. his face before, mm-hmm. and his name is. Khabani Makumulo, Khabani Muloy. Khabani who? Khabani Muloy. Sorry. Who's Makumulo? What's going on? Why are you panicking? No, I'm not panicking. So when I was when I was born, they nearly put Michael in my name. So I used to that was Khabani Michael Muloy, but then they took it out. But Michael. Michael. My name was nearly Michael. Yeah. Oh, you didn't say Michael Muloy. Oh. Khabani Michael Muloy. Damn. Michael. Yeah. So then they, they took they took it out. You good. Yes, sir. Oh, awesome stuff. So yeah, it's a running gag in my family, Khabani Michael Muloy, but in actuality, it's just Khabani Muloy. Hi, I'm Shout a out. random guy. You know, yeah, he, he has a random name, and his random random name is it's Michael, mm-hmm. and he's in the world, right? Mm-hmm. And also, we're in the world. Yeah, we have uh, a new random guy mm-hmm. in the building. Tell him mm-hmm. we have a new random guy in the world. He just came to the world. Me, just now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't know where he was, but right now. What matters is he's in the world. He's a mystery. You know what I'm saying? And uh, none, uh, is, is none other than. Yeah. Is that the word? That's the one. Yeah. Okay. None other than. None other than. Yeah. Um, what's, what do I say now? Okay. Your name. <laughs> um, yeah. Nsundeni. I'm a... Uh, we, 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 we need a... 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 Yeah. We don't have budget. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Nsundeni Lou. I'm uh, a random guy. Mm-hmm. Right, that's what we say. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. We just do the wrong things. Okay, in the world, I'm in the world. In the world, yeah. Yeah. He's in the world, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, in the world, man, and um, a lot of things are going on in the world. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like a dude can just be walking, true, and he thinks to himself, "I want to get a divorce." Facts that does happen. Have you ever thought about that? I've never been married, so I've never thought of getting a divorce. But you know who is married? Nsundeni. So that he's married. Yeah. Freshly married. Freshly. Freshly. Yeah, yeah. You ever thought about getting a divorce? Damn, man. I've only been married for like uh, six weeks. Six weeks. Damn. Yeah. The question still stands. During those six weeks, have you thought of? Yeah, I think I think it's too early. <laughs> Why do you think it's too early? I mean, you can not just enter marriage and already you're thinking divorce. Okay. I think there must be like a minimum... Time. What's the minimum? You know, in the relationship. What's the minimum? That's the minimum amount of suffering you must like to and to really appreciate. Like, hmm. Hmm. I don't know, man. Like, you must go through a lot. What hmm. is a lot? How do you measure a lot? Like, are you in a relationship? I'm in the world. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo, niggas like this shit, bro. Yo, ha, shit. <laughs> I'm in the world, man. But yeah, yeah. man, you know, but like, yeah. It's the thing, man. I just, I don't know. I want to get divorced, you know. Why? No, I, I just want to have, I just want to know how it feels. To get divorced. To get divorced. Because a lot of people make jokes about people getting divorced. Mm. And they don't know how it feels. You know what I'm saying? So I want to know if I can joke about it. Uh-huh. So if I go through a divorce, maybe like, I don't know, probably on a, on a Thursday, I think that's the best time to get a divorce on a Thursday. Mm-hmm. Before Friday, because Friday, you have got to turn up, you know what I'm saying? Got to uh, go to a party. But also a divorce isn't like a, a one weekend thing. It's not a long weekend thing. Why? Because dog, a divorce, to settle a divorce, yeah. that's like years or however long the divorce is of having to... You guys, your lives are so like intertwined. Yeah. That now you have to unintertwine it. So you bought her a car yeah. and or a phone or whatever and this and this and this. And she still needs those things. So mm-hmm. does she get those things or do you get it back? Does the court so now the court needs to make sure that at the end of this you guys can split and it doesn't ruin the other person's life. And it probably will in some way, shape, or form. But a lot of people are still in relationships, not necessarily because they even love their partner. Is it? They're in the relationship because 
it just works better for them. Like financially, it's just more safe to be in the relationship at that point. Does that but that's not, the, that's not the situation. Yeah, today. but the thing is, you you can't just wake up and think divorce. Mm. You need to like separate first. But even before then, you, you need physically. to... Physically. Yeah, like you're not together. You're not divorced, but like you're, still you're not together, mm. you know. But like you, you need to try all the other means. Okay. You know, mm. you know try therapy, therapy yeah. you know. Um, whatever you believe in. Yeah. I'm speaking like I've had a divorce. Like, yeah. Hey, man. No, you know, sometimes, yeah, that's why that's you need that experience to know how it truly feels like. Because you can't advise someone. There's, there's a dude that out there in the world who's going through a divorce. Mm. And you're giving my advice and you've never been through that. Yeah, I know, but that's majority of things in life. Is it? Yeah. Like, haven't you given advice of things that you haven't experienced? I, like, I, like, I, I, I don't give advice. Is it? Damn. So then but, probably advice. but like you you can't necessarily give advice all the time about things you have not experienced. Not, they are, not all the time. But I'm just saying things. Yeah, certain things. Like it's that thing of like I've I have never I've never dated a stripper. Right? Okay. But if my homie comes to me and yeah. says, Yeah, I'm dating a stripper. Yeah. And it's like, dang. Then he's like, What should I do? I know I've dated a baddie in my life. She wasn't a stripper, but that's the only context that I have. So I can only give him my reference and then hope that it can help guide him. Not necessarily that it it will... I'm not trying to give him the guidelines, but I'm just trying to tell him my experience so that maybe it will clear up his head when he's dealing with that situation. You know? Mm-hmm. So that's kind of advice. So I think that's just words. What? That's what just words? words. Putting together words. You mean advice? No, I don't think that's advice when you're not in the situation. It's just like words. You tell him words. You say things. You mean, I think advice is words. No. Okay. That situation. Mm-hmm. It's like words. You say words to him. Oh, yeah. you say words of encouragement. Is that what you're saying? Maybe. I don't think. I, okay. But not advice. Okay. I looked at it as advice, but okay. Okay, I get, I get what you're saying. But, uh, so then it should be, should be knowing stuff, man. It's dude, like, I mean, this guy, I've, I've known this guy way long back. How do you? And this dude, <laughs> this dude, this dude, it can give you an advice about anything. Is it? You, you can, you, you can be like chilling and he gives you advice about anything in life. Like what? What's the best piece of advice he's given you? Oh man. I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He's given me so much advice that all of them is just, damn man, like. Good advice, man. You know, mm-hmm. you know. But um, he's married now, man. How has it been being married, man? I think it's been it's been dope, man. Okay. It's been six weeks. Six weeks. Um, and like I said, uh, it will be terrible if after six weeks you're not happy. Is it? Because like, yeah. Who why, told you? This? Why? Why would you do it even if within six weeks you already okay. not happy? How do you? Okay, I I just don't understand. Maybe just how did you decide? To get, to yes. get married, to get married, like you know, because I don't know this dude, right? <laughs> this dude, I was at this um, uh, his wedding, right? Oh, you went to the wedding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why yeah. wasn't I invited to the wedding? This is yeah. how the dude invited me, all right? Yeah. This dude, I'm chilling, like I'm minding my, I'm at work. <laughs> he calls me, he say, "Yo, Jerry, uh, what are you doing next week, Monday?" I said, "What?" I mean, I'm thinking, "What do you mean, Monday?" I was like, "Oh, now I'll, I'll be, like, it, was, it was a holiday, mm-hmm. so I won't be doing anything." Mm-hmm. I think maybe he's booking me for a comedy show, something like that. Oh. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I'm getting married. Oh, you didn't even know he's getting married. You yeah, didn't even know yeah. He's getting... He just called me. So, like, how, is that how he decided? Is that how he, like, you know what? Maybe next week I'm getting married. Is that how he decided? No, the thing is, man, uh, I spend a lot of time, like, um, with my wife. Okay. So, like, we dated for, like, um, nine years. Damn. You know? So, like, um, I always knew that, like, okay, there was a time, I can't remember when, when I was, like, okay, I've decided... I'm going to marry this girl, right? Okay. So, and you know, in our tradition, because like there are three kinds of marriage, right? Yes. So you do like the civil marriage where you like sign and then you've got the customary marriage. Yes. Where you like uh, pay lobola mm-hmm. and then the Africans called fat and set. Oh. Right. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I know fat and set, man. Is yeah. that really a thing? 
Oh, my parents were in the were in a, they said for 14 years. Uh, yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's 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 the thing. It's because of yeah. 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 You never heard of it? No. I'm not very well versed in Afrikaans culture. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, but black people are practicing that. Yeah. Culture. Yeah, so we appropriate that thing. Is a lot. Oh, yeah. I've seen an episode of Nude for Nude once, and then yeah. like, that's all the Africans are. Oh, man, they took they said. took the land, we took the fat and said, <laughs> we own it now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, like, I wanted to do, like, uh, the customary, where you yes. go and pay the ball. Right? Yeah. So, like, I knew I was going to marry this girl. So, I, I was just waiting for the money. Are you allowed to say how much... Can you tell people how much the bola was, or do you, is that a private thing? No, I can tell them. Uh-huh. Yeah. How, how much? Has but I'm not gonna tell. Ah. <laughs> Give us I'm the numbers, allowed, man. But like, yeah, oh, okay. no, man. It but no, it's on... a okay. But yeah, it's okay. So when you decide to get married, is it a thing of I'm ready to get married? Like, do you wake up one day you like I'm ready to get married, or it's like this person? I like this person so much, I want to marry them. I don't know if that question makes sense. Like, okay, you have a person, like, I love this person so much, Yeah. I want to marry this person. Mm-hmm. Or it's mm-hmm. like, you know what? I'm ready to, to, to get married. I just want to get married. Let me get married. And you check who's, like... Yeah, who's on the on the market. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I guess it depends. Because, like, there's a dude I did um, research with okay. when I was doing my uh, postgrad. Yeah, um, he sent me a message. He said he's looking for a wife. Um, well, why you? If there's a new well-groomed lady, uh, because I just got married. Okay, so I think I know where. Oh, he thinks you know what's in the market. Where the the yeah. wives are found. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do, do you know where the wives are found? Are you like the guy? <laughs> I don't know. I know. Where, I know where I found my wife. I don't know where. <laughs> oh, to find other wives. Where the other wives are found. Yeah, yeah. yeah but he DM'd me and yeah. like, hey, dude, um, I need a wife. I need a wife. Um, well groomed, and then I posted it on my WhatsApp. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You just said well groomed, well groomed lady. That's nothing, what. Yeah, that's nothing else. Just well, well groomed, lady. well groomed lady. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's his very, requirement. Yo, that's that's a very low requirement. What do you mean low? Actually, no. It's not. Well groomed. Yeah, I, I mean, what does that even mean? Yeah, like yeah. no. But I'm saying if that is only a requirement, what if she's an asshole, a well groomed asshole? You can be well groomed asshole. Of course you can. You know, if you're an asshole, you can't be well groomed. Of course just... you can. No. If anything, most of the most well groomed people are assholes. Like what is you groomed? Like to, to clean up nice. Ne? No. No. Raise well to be groomed. Yeah. yeah. Like oh, that's yeah. the you like, can make manners. Yeah. Oh, upbringing. Okay. Yeah. 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 I thought you just made groomed like like she cleans up nice, no. you know, like no, she, no, she, no. she looks put together. No, she gotta be able to cook pop. I don't know, is it? Um, is that a thing? I don't know. He's an African guy, so oh, I don't pop. know if it's the pup or yeah. You know, I, I think, I think the thing is now, if I so well groomed, yeah, my first thought is just she must look nice and clean. Oh. She must be clean. So if I'm seeing that I, I'm apply like the people that I know yeah. that I look well groomed, yeah, are gonna apply, and some of them are assholes. Oh. I think it needs to be just more specific with the thing. Yes, yeah. yeah. Well groomed is a little vague to me. No, but he got the. The replies. Okay. As right. vague as his mm-hmm. advert was, I got more than 40. 40? Four, zero? Yeah. There are 40 people ready to get married. Damn. What? Yeah. 40? 40. Uh, people are desperate. Okay, and then? I got 42, specifically. Eh? Yeah. Imagine. Okay, how? Uh, imagine 42. Imagine okay. 42 people okay. are trying to get married via WhatsApp status. Yeah. Yes. It's a demand for... Husband, man. Yeah, man. This country is going to. <sighs> anyway, yeah. So forty-two people said forty-two yeah. people, and but like all of them like had different responses, right? Yeah. Because some of them were like, uh, "Can we see this dude?" <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, "Nah, he has a nice personality." <laughs> okay. Did you share them? The... No, I didn't share. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Right. No, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't know what he's gonna do to his chances, you know. Uh, but like, no, I. He's ugly. But like, <laughs> you know, he must send the picture himself, you know. Okay. When he has, uh, okay, because he wants well groomed, right? Yeah. And is like, he well groomed? I don't know. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You're sending all your well-groomed contacts to some guy that might not be well-groomed. Ah, come on. That's dangerous. No. Mm-hmm. The thing is, this guy, I've 
told all the girls to say, you know, you know what, you can just make a choice. Yeah. When you talk to this guy, you know, find out if it's a good guy. Because mm-hmm. I have encountered him. I encountered him as a good guy, but I don't know how he is in a relationship. Because uh-huh. I've never dated the guy, you know. Oh, well, fair, fair. Fair. Yeah. But so, do you think he's a good guy? I like, think it's a good guy, but, but like generally. But, but I mean, you can yeah. tell, can't you? Like, you know, some of your friends that like, I don't think you ever find a wife just based on how they behave. Okay, in general, you know. Those I mean, there, there's some people like yeah, mm, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I think it's a, I think it's a husband material. Okay, okay. I think it's like really ready. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, um, I think it's gonna be hard to find a match because you know the things that girls are looking for. What are you looking for? Uh, they say some of the girls say they want a guy who owns a house, in a, own a house. in a game reserve. Oh. No, not just a house. Dude. He must own a house, and there must be in pilot. a game reserve. What's a game reserve? It must okay, be like so you know where there's gangland and like there's animals there. There's a zebra. So now I have to find animals. It, it probably because you don't want to have a game reserve without an impala. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So he yeah. must own animals. Okay. Does he own animals? He doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen one. Ah. Oh. Yeah. So that's that's like but, okay, a what, requirement from the ladies. What yeah. happened to like normal requirements? Tall, dark, and handsome. And game reserve. Yeah. Tall, dark, and handsome. Is it game? Yeah, it's taller than me. Okay. I think it's. Uh, ah, okay. It's good height. That's good. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, girls are also looking for tall. Yeah. I don't know, like what what's with height. No, it's like for pictures. Uh, also, like the I don't know, like a lot of girls in the SA especially are short, you know. So then, I don't know if you've seen when they're like in the kitchen, yeah. And they have to get like a little stool or something uh, to like reach the top cupboard. Oh, so they yeah, just have yeah. like a tall brother just to just you know, baby, can you? That makes them feel no. special, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice feeling. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. If you're short in the world, man, uh, I don't know, get new legs. Nah. Actually, no, don't. Have you guys seen those surgeries in Turkey where guys, like, extend their legs? Oh, yes, I've seen it. And that, that thing hurts me. So, like, it hurts my feeling so much. Because it's Why? like... Bro, like, they they essentially have, like, damaged themselves for life. Why? Like, because you break your legs to get that extra height. And then you, you, you there's, like, these extended things that, like, stretch out your legs. But yeah. it's over, like, a six-month period. And then they have to break it again. And it's another certain... It's too much. It's way too much. But then don't the legs work normally? The legs eventually do work normally, but already your proportions are weird now because God didn't yeah. make your body like this. So now yeah. your legs are unnecessarily long compared to your tiny body. And I already have a short torso and very long legs, yeah. but it kind of works. Them, they're, they're, they're disrupting God's vision for them, bro. And then on top of that, their athleticism just goes down the drain. Like what? they're not... Because, bro, you have broken your legs. Have you ever broken something? But like... If you have long legs, you like. No, bro. Because the thing, the thing is, those legs, they, they, yes, they're longer, but yeah. they're weaker. And you can't push yourself as much as you could push yourself when your legs were just normal. Yeah. So it's just like. Leg BBL. Any, any guy that wants to get a leg BBL, just develop a better personality. That, that Trust me. It's okay to be. But then, but then ladies don't see your personality first, they see your short legs. Yeah, sure. But then. Bro, then I've they seen, in the, in the, in the with bro, him. I've seen fat, ugly, poor, short men bag the the, the most beautiful women, bro. How, How do they do it? Because they believe in themselves and their personalities. But mm. when they talk to a girl, they're not talking to a girl with like, uh, 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 there's no stuttering, bro. They come up to a girl and they're like, this is what I want. I want a dollar like this. You state yeah. your name in your business, bro. Man, I'm Jeremy Spink, man. And, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Boom yeah. shakala. You but see like, that? All that. Mm, yeah. You're out of it. You gotta go. Yo, my name's Jerry McSpanky and I'm ready to spank you. What's good with it? And damn. you know, for a fact that matter, like, there is a girl out there that will hear that and be like, oh, I don't want to get spanked. But do you think she want to marry me if I say that oh, I'm here to spank? You probably shouldn't marry a girl that falls over just because you offered to spank her. Yeah, I should. Like, I should. Okay, maybe I should. Yeah. Have that approach mm. in life. That's, okay, makes that's sense. good advice. Yeah, that's good advice. That's good advice. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that's that, good yeah, advice. That, that, I'll, I'll remember yeah, that advice. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I hope I won't need that advice. I hope so too. Yeah, you know. What was your pickup line finding your wife? My pickup line? Mm, like, how did you, how did you, like... It was mm. chemistry, bro. 
What do you mean? Yeah, we're doing like uh, chemistry. Oh, like literal, like school chemistry. Yeah, it's cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's cool. School chemistry. Okay. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. And, and so, like, um, I was doing um, second year mm-hmm. chemical engineering. She was doing first year chemical engineering. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she used to come for extra lessons. Yeah. Uh-huh. Extra lessons. Wait, uh, how did okay? How did you approach her to come to lessons? How did that? Happen? No, she approached me because she needed him, bro. Yeah, oh, okay. I didn't say like. Yeah, yeah, she like she wanted the lesson. Okay, you know, yeah, and you had because like yeah, she was seeing flames and I was seeing a flame. That's reason. That's that's reason, man. You see, and that's yeah. why I got a girlfriend to date for nine years, bro. That's yeah. proper loyalty. Yeah. And I dropped the boss. Uh-huh. Yeah, over oh, the boss. I said to her, hmm. "Listen, yeah, what? Yeah." That's how you start. You must say yeah. Oh, you say yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because okay. that's the transition from oh. the chemistry. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. to show that now we are done with the chemistry. <laughs> oh, okay, so okay, so, so now it's so, something else. Okay, okay so, so you guys were sitting. You're, yeah, you're, you're, done, with, you're done with you're uh, done with with chemistry. So the end of yeah. the day, saying cool bell. Rings. And then you like the bell rings sharp. Now you look. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Damn. All right. Cool. Yeah. I said to her, yeah. Mm-hmm. The discovery of fire was fundamental. For human existence, Shepa. for it gave us three key things: mm-hmm. heat, light, and words to describe you. Yo, because you are a flame. Eh, eh, eh. I don't want to leave my girl around in Sundani. Yeah, <laughs> that shit is tough. Yo, yo, yo. Mm, 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 mm. What does that even mean? Yeah. Bro, it's English, it's chemistry, it's everything, bro. It's bro. poetry. Damn. And what did yeah. she say? What did she say? Yeah. Didn't say anything. Oh, she was out of she, ways. She was thirsty. She was thirsty. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's so mm-hmm. Damn. And then? Did y'all just start kissing right there? What, what, what happened after that, bro? Well, you know, she's like, um, she needs to think about it. Yeah. You know, because she can't just... Uh... Marry your tutor. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But like for me, I was also because like it took me like time. Right? Yeah. Because uh, I'm a good guy. Okay. I'm a good guy. No, I think so. <laughs> Are you a good guy? I don't know. It depends who's asking. I'm asking. I think I'm good. All right. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm a good guy, right? Because yeah. like. I, I like, I felt like for like some time, I felt like I would be taking advantage Yeah. of her, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because like I'm teaching her, you know, I'm tutoring her. Yeah. yeah and yeah. now it's like, yeah. But what's your guys' age gap? Um, It's not that big. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. How much? So it's not like, it's not on some creepy. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, oh, yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, just... Yeah, a okay. few years. Okay. okay. Yeah. You're older, I see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm older. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you date can you date an older woman? Not now, obviously, but have you ever thought of dating an older woman? Yeah, uh, like age is just a number, right? Mm-hmm. That's our Kelly's favorite line. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you care about age? Mm-hmm. I do, heavily. How oh, okay, do you have okay I struggle to date people younger than me. But that's just because like I feel yeah. I feel like a creep. What do you mean younger than you? Okay, oh yeah. Okay. Anyone that's not my age, like the same year as me. Okay. It's young. Yeah. Okay. Immediately I'm okay. just like you go up. Up, yeah. How up have you been? I I was with someone that was in their thirties. Oh yeah. sure. <laughs> ah. Yo. Ah. Wow. Ah. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Damn, bro. <laughs> no, but like, uh, yeah, it's well, safe that way. Well, <laughs> how? No, for me. It, okay, how, okay, how old were you? I was seventeen. Yeah. And they were in their thirties. Yeah, but it was cool. No, 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 no. It was not cool. Okay. No, no, yeah, that's not cool. What? Yeah, yeah. Wait, they were nice to me. Wait, so that person mm-hmm. is now no longer. So long a date. I don't know. Damn. 
Wait, wait, what? Okay, did, did that person have a child? No. Damn. You were the child. I don't see the problem. Wait, but you know how it is, bro. So you know how it is. Like, you actually probably okay. should remove this because not everyone's going to be like, you are a victim. And maybe I was. But, like, I enjoy being a victim. As messed up as that sounds, you know? This is problematic. This is problematic. Yeah. This is problematic. You should probably not talk about it. Yeah, this but, like... But would you, yeah, the question But, is, like, this is not just about you, right? Because, mm-hmm. like, if you enjoy being a victim, other... Victims. Victimizers. Oh no! My Actually, like, yeah. Speak on behalf of you know, like as an example, there is yeah. this victim yeah. who enjoys being a victim. Yeah. So also my victims, oh, we enjoy. Okay. Don't think it's a cool thing to do. No, let me. Okay, yeah. let me phrase it like this. Then. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think what she did was right. Okay. It just so happened that, to be fair. We both didn't know each other's age in like the situation. We okay. didn't ask each other beforehand. And by the time we had already hooked up, we were like, what? You're this old? Because she looks very young. Like she like even behaved young. So that was weird. It was weird for all of okay. us. Okay, how was it? Let's say like a uh, height. No, I was taller. Damn, okay. Like I was much taller. Like, but uh, you, you, you can see her skin. Like, oh, this is skin, skin. She had great skin. She had like like young people's skin. So the whole anyway, the whole interaction was yeah. just very it was very innocent, or at least that's what I thought. Oh, where and where did the interaction start? It happened at a wedding. Oh, you met at a wedding. We met at Damn, a like you met physically. Yes, yeah, you just met physically. And you like You were already just there at a like yeah. it was like wedding, then the hotel, and then boom boom, and then now later on, and then we start talking about like our lives and our future goals, and then they were like, Hold on, how old are you? And I was okay. like, I'm just old. What did she say about Fisher Gold? They were like, hmm, you might be older. That you might be old. What did she say? Wait, what? What did she say about Fisher Gold that that told you like, no, this is an old person? What did? Oh, what did she? Oh, what did I say that made her realize yeah. that like my goals are? I was probably just saying like I just want to finish high school. Oh. and then she was like, hmm, hmm. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, and then yeah, and then she was like, you're crazy, and then that's how I started. Didn't like Shepard just fall from your pants? Shit. What? <laughs> 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 He's so Shepard, like, oh. Damn. Mm-hmm. It happens. But, like, it wasn't like, I don't think it was on some, like, predatory vibe yeah. or anything. It was literally just. Because after that moment, we didn't see each other anymore. Or oh! It wasn't, like, long term anything. Yeah, okay. Okay. It was just, like, that moment. And then she was like, when she found out, she was like, oh, shit. Just stop. Yeah, stop. I mean. Yeah. So then it was just like, and for me, it was just like, Cause also I didn't know she was thirty. Yeah. So then in my head it's like as as the age that I was, I'm like, damn, damn oh, what? Man. Crazy. My wrist is that strong. And then like for her, like that was the vibe. That was the vibe. Yeah, man. Uh, we in the world. True. We in the yeah. world. If you're not in the world, hey, mm-hmm. catch a bus. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, here at Random Guys Podcast, we do not promote anything that is a crime. But what we do promote are our shows. Yeah. And one show that you should definitely go to is the Kitchener Show that happens every Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Only at Kitchener's in Bramfontein. Uh, Kitchener's is like, you know, has reopened and the vibes are amazing. We did the first show last week and we're going to do a whole lot more shows for the rest of the year. So every Wednesday, 8 o'clock, tickets are only 50 bucks. So we hope you see you there. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the Random Guys podcast. With that being said, to all the husbands out there, it's nice to be a husband, I hope. I hope you love your people. But you know someone who really loves you guys? It's like brother right there, Nsundeni. Yeah, yeah. You have anything uh, to promote, brother? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, my name is Nsundeni. I'm a new husband. Ash? Yeah, yeah. Been married for like um, six weeks or so. Yeah. And uh, I'm doing a show at the First Theater. Mm-hmm. It's a one-man comedy show. Okay. It's called Husband Material. <laughs> so, yeah, I will be talking about, you know, all things. Husband material, wife material, mm-hmm. cars, chemistry, Fish. you know, anything really. And then you can come and maybe we'll meet your husband or your wife. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Um, tickets are 200, um, available at Cricket. Mm-hmm. Um, and the show starts um, at 7 p.m., 6th of December at the First Theatre. Come and see husband material. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, by the way, we're going to put the, uh, there's going to be a link somewhere for that show, you yeah. know. 
Like, yeah, we're gonna put all the links. Uh, kitcheners, we're gonna put like a husband material. Just take that thing. You can buy the just, ticket. You can just get your tickets at the door for kitcheners. Oh but, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now back to the episode. So James, uh before we go any further, I just wanna say something that we were speaking about last week. Yeah. Which was moisturizing. Oh yeah. And like I started seeing people's reaction to the thing. Yeah. And I was just like, it cut me deep. Because I realized a lot of gents don't actually moisturize their ass. And that's very concerning. Why? Bro, because like moisturizing yourself, people are looking at it like it's a tedious effort. Like it's a punishment. And it's not a punishment. Taking care of yourself is a privilege. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But so I'm saying like you can't be walking out with dry nyash, bro. You have drash. What? That's what it is. You have drash. <laughs> and everyone knows drashiness is next to trashiness, bro. So no. please take care of yourself. Because that's a sign of mental health. No, okay. Wash it. Yes. Shut Yeah, But moisturizing, why? Why, why must I have a shiny ass? Bro, it's not about the shine. It's about the texture, bro. You got to make sure that your ass is smooth, that it feels nice, bro. Can you see? Look at this. Nice. Got hey. that. Don't you want that for your booty? <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> no, but okay. Like, using a lot of lotion. It's going to waste a lot. It's going to waste lotion. Though, don't look at it like a waste, dog. Do you brush twice a day? Once. You must brush twice a day. Why? You mustn't look at it like it's a waste of toothpaste. You must look okay. at it as you you want to have a nice, you know, smile for the rest of your life. Okay. You get what I'm saying? You gotta, that dog, that's, a, that's an important thing. It's like, it's to show that like, yo, I love myself. And it also tells a lot about you. Are you the type of person that puts on a, a sock and a shoe and a sock and a shoe or a sock and a sock and a shoe and a shoe? No, what? Which one do you put on? Like, how do you put on your shoes and socks? I put socks. Shut. Then I put shoes. Okay, cool. Then yeah, cool. Then you you you're not suffering from anxiety. Right? Yeah, anything. No, it doesn't even anxiety. But 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 someone that doesn't moisturize their ass, that's depression, bro. Depression. Mm-hmm. Damn. I'm telling you. Too much your ass. Well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm the weird one. Here. Right? Maybe I'm the weird one. <laughs> I don't know. Well, okay. well, um, I grew up in the village. Okay. And um, okay. when I was growing up, we didn't have enough money. Oh, okay. And um, even the, you know, lotion that we would use, we would use your um, Vaselina, mm-hmm. um, Kempha. Oh, I know that one. Yeah. Um, and uh, it takes off care of the cracks. Yeah. Okay. At dawn. Okay. Right? Yeah, that one. But like we had like a family lotion. Oh. So I didn't have like my own. So I would share with others. Uh-huh. And you know the principle with sharing, uh-huh. you can't overuse. Okay. Because like they only buy once per month mm-hmm. and they put it there for everyone to use. Mm-hmm. So I only needed to moisturize the parts, okay. the parts of myself that are visible. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. But that situation is different. Yeah. That's a, that's a, you're in a bit of a predicament there. Yeah. You know, where I'm, I am speaking from a place of privilege. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but. You got too much lotion in your house. But your situation is also a privilege right now. You can moisturize your ass and you're choosing not to. So all those little insundanis out there that wish they could moisturize their asses. There's a Jerry that's just looking over it and he's being like. Look, man. No. Yes. I, so then I'm sure you wish you could have moisturized your booty when you were younger. Well, uh, oh, you're comfortable now. Like growing up, I remember. Is that possible, person? Do you must tell us your ass? Why is it one of the things that stories how you grew up? Do you must tell us your ass? Let me tell. Uh, let me. Why are you being a politician? Let me it's tell simple. you a story. <laughs> it's a simple thing. Uh, yeah. My brother, let me tell you a story. Sure. Yeah. So, like, when I got to varsity, uh-huh. yeah, you know, things were a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I was doing a little bit, you know, better now. Okay. I had money um, and I went to the shop to buy... Um, moisturizer. Not moisturizer, lotion. lotion. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, well, what I thought was lotion. Okay. Because remember, mm. back in the day, I was using camphor, um, Vaseline and Dawn. Right? Yeah. It was like, things are different now. It's the new Dawn. Yeah. About um, Nivea. Mm-hmm. And then that Nivea product, you know, I started applying it, you know, things are good. 
And what happened was after a few, you know, just using it, I just saw my skin changing. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know the, how the snake. Oh, she's the skin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like exfoliation. Where were you applying it, this lotion? I'm applying it. Every. All over my body. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. And then my my skin started shedding, like peeling off like layers of an onion. Yeah. Everywhere. So your ass cheeks were like, there was like a layer coming off. So like everywhere there was like the <laughs> layers just shedding, shedding. My body was shedding. His ass cheeks were shedding. Because you were using Nivea. Yeah. At that point, you know, I thought I was bewitched. Because <laughs> like I come from uh, Limpopo, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like I, I put that thing aside mm. and um, I, I stopped using mm. it. Um, I went back to the normal that I was used to. Uh -huh. But then I realized later that I was using shower gel. Ah! <laughs> I thought it was lotion. I thought it was lotion. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. No, I thought it was lotion because like you must understand growing up uh, for shower we never used something like that, you know. We were using but the green no, bar. But then shower gel is like quack quack. It's like it's, it's mask. It's yeah, like, you can feel it. Yeah, it's big, it's not big, yeah, it's not but like, it's big, it's not rocky. Yeah. This is the new life. Like, no. you know. Yeah, this is the new dawn. Shame, man. Ignorance is bliss. Damn. Or, yeah. But you could read. Shower gel. You could read. Yeah, I read the Nivea. And oh, I, so you just saw the Nivea. I, 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 I always oh. saw the Nivea adverts, mm -hmm. right? And they're like, Nivea, they say something about men, like best product for men. I can't remember what they said. Mm -hmm. okay. And even in my, yeah. in my mind, when I was like growing up, mm -hmm. I used to saw those ads. I was like, okay. Oh, One day, this is the end of my it's head. me and Nivea. <laughs> Rocky. And when I went there, I saw Nivea. So, I'm that's like, the, yeah, that's the thing. Okay, yeah, how long it, did you not notice that this is not like normal lotion? How long did you use that thing for? It went on for like over a week. Mm, that's not too bad. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it was just like over a week. But like I started, because like when it started, you start thinking like maybe there's something happening with your body. Yes. Yeah. You know, just like, yeah, yeah. That's your ability, yeah. but you just didn't do But it even like when I stopped, I didn't like check that this is the thing. I'm just like, I didn't I'm check really... what the product yeah. is. Just like, okay, let me stop using oh, this product. Okay. And then when I stopped, you know, things get bad. Yeah. Mm. But then later on, that's when I realized that, oh, the shower gel. The question still remains. So then, do you moisturize your ass? Now? Well, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You see, I told you, I'm not, the, I'm, not the, I'm not the weird one here. No, yeah. as, a, as a person, you gotta take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. What about you? You gotta love yourself. Um, amen. Um, and you, you gotta be able to, to know all your body. Okay. Mm -hmm. But as a person, you must also make sense of things that mm -hmm. are happening in the world. Okay. What's happening in the world? Not everything that is popular must be done. Clearly, it's not popular. What's not popular? You're saying, uh, I assume you're saying the lotion in your ass isn't popular. And that's why so many people are killing themselves, bro. <laughs> why? Why are all these men that are just <laughs> gone? Why? Because they don't love themselves, bro. <laughs> Only their arms and legs are, are, are moisturized, and then they're like, why is the rest of me feeling so depressed, bro? And you know your ass is you, when you really think about it, bro. Like, your ass, you can't, you can put your arm through a room, and yeah. you're not in the room. Yeah. But you can't go into the room without your ass being in the room. Hmm. When someone says, I'm going to beat you up, they say, I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah. That's all of you. You want someone to beat your moisturized ass? No. No. Well, maybe someone that I love, sure. You know, if we're like, you know, like massaging each other and it's like, okay, we're here now. Hmm. On some cute shit, yeah. 
That's not bad. Someone wanna beat my ass? I want that thing and moisturize. Dry as hell. <laughs> Just beat my dry ass. Can't give you a good ass to beat? No. Well, uh, the conclusion is, all I'm saying is, take care of yourself, James, because we, we love you and we don't want you, like, you know, dying because your ass is uh, dry or whatever. Because, you know, lots of people are dying nowadays, right? But, like, what's the... What's the thing about, like, moisturizing or not moisturizing? Like, why would you... Why would somebody not moisturize? First of all... Money. Money. Yeah. You gotta say you're gonna waste... And it's a, it's a lot of work. Secondly, yeah. it's a lot of work. Yeah. Like, I, like, I'm always late. Right? So I'll just put hands yeah. and face and then bounce. Yeah. You know, I used to, like, even moisturize my legs. Now I don't moisturize legs anymore because I wear long pants. Because you're dry there. Your knees just... It's not my my body's used to it now. It's cool. <sighs> okay, bro. That's tough. But I, I, I'm not depressed, man. I'm good, man. Um, like maybe a little bit, but that's not because of like dry ass. It's, How do you know? No, because why don't you start moisturizing? And then what if you just you know, maybe have, have you tried everything? Okay, maybe that's okay. Cool. Try it. You'll be happy. Maybe I just need to go to therapy, not like moisturize my ass. You'd rather go to therapy than moisturize. Okay, I'll moisturize. There you go. I'll work on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, mm. no, for real, bro. You can't keep losing people. That's why I keep bringing up death. Because I don't know, what, what is your guys' opinion on death? Um, I think... I've been going to a lot of funerals mm-hmm. lately. Okay. Right, uh, and I, I think I'm getting old. Because I think this year I've been... To more funerals than parties. How many funerals have you been to? I can't count. Why don't you just go to more parties so that that's not the case? Yeah. For every person who dies, two parties. Yeah, no, you but, don't do after tears. But people no, after tears are so fine. People Thanks. keep on dying. More than the parties. Yeah, people keep on dying. And the thing is, like, I don't like uh, just party, J. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah, I don't, I don't party where there's no reason. Okay. You have to, like, it has to be a celebration. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So, yeah, that's where I party. Like, there's a, there's a birthday, there's a, there's an award, there's okay. a, there's something. A, a wedding. Yeah, a wedding. A wedding can be considered a party, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but then, then there can be, like, because uh, you know there's, like, an after party from something. So, those are, like, the, because mm-hmm. you attend something and then there's a party. Yeah. Yeah, those are the parties that I do. Got you. Yeah. But I've been to more funerals yes, than all of those other things. Than all of those. And yeah, then you're not succeeding enough, dog. Yeah. What do you mean? Because oh. he only goes to things where he celebrates. He's celebrating, oh. so there's not enough. You know, he needs to. Yeah, he but, needs to celebrate, dog. He needs to but celebrate. But people, success. people around me, I just. Rocking. Okay. I mean, so I die. Yeah. How many people this year? I can't count. For real? Yeah. Is it more than twenty? Uh not not 20 funerals uh-huh. but more than 20 people like, like that. every week you know every week my mom and my dad when they call me oh. it's like they will be announcing somebody is dead yeah how does that make you feel bro are you okay do you like all these people because sometimes you know people are dying and then you're like yeah yeah no, no but like, it's those people that you're like yeah what do you mean finally no no there's some people that are like not that you want them to die, but then when they do die, it's like, away. No. No? No, it's you just... You don't have anyone that you, like, wouldn't prefer to not be around. Hmm. Look, I'm just... You love everyone in your life. No, maybe they can just go to another country, not die. Okay. I don't wish death on anyone. But I don't wish life for everyone. Okay, no, wish them life, but just bad life. No, bad life, then you have to hear about it. You know what I mean? They can have a bad life somewhere in the corner. People will make sure people know that they have... People that, people that have shitty lives love talking about it. Yeah, they love talking. They have, they, yeah. trauma, dump, trauma dumpers. Oh. Yes, yes. Anyway, sorry. But, but here's the thing, man. Like, um, you, you asked me whether... Like, uh, yeah, I love everyone, right? Mm-hmm. But, like, I don't know if you have experienced something called, like, death relief. Death, death relief? relief. Yeah. Mm. What's that? So if you like, cause like now I've been receiving a lot of 
death news yeah. but sometimes i experience death relief is when like the person uh, the person who has died is not the one that you thought who was going to die yeah oh. is dead you know and this is because like how people report okay cuz sometimes you know they do like a whatsapp group yeah for somebody so they like so for somebody passed away yeah. they like uh john condolences mm-hmm. yes and i'm thinking john has passed on uh-huh. is not how it is no but then you find out that it's not the john it's not it's not you no oh. it's it's john's child oh, oh. oh so the is yeah. john okay. yeah so but they because they can't include him in that they like john has oh. passed on. But when they actually send the message, you're like, oh, okay. Mm. Somebody still passed. Yeah, which is sad. Which is sad. Yeah. But you relieved but that it's, it's not like, your oh, problem. Not my John. I'll, I'll go and support John. Yeah. But, but, John, least but at least John, John is still, just still like, there. Like. I know, like, John is going through the most now. Yes. But, like, John is... Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, that, 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 that can give you relief. Mm-hmm. John is still there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. I don't have that. Well, yeah. Not the WhatsApp group thing. Okay, well, yeah. but I've had I've had moments where like there have been people that I thought were dead. Yeah, and then like come to find out or what, like no, it wasn't them that's dying. It's that it's the other one. What is the other one? Did they have the same name? The same name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've I've experienced that because like I think there are three types of like relief. you know death yeah relief. death relief because that's the other one mm-hmm. where you like it's the same name. Mm-hmm. Say John has passed on. But, like which John? No, you're thinking maybe it's John Cena, your favorite. So. <laughs> oh man, that 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 would be my yeah. yeah. John Cena is dead. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh. Now we really can't see it. Oh yeah, man. sure. That kill my spirit. Yeah. Now you realize it's another John. You know, yeah. it's like oh okay. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Not John Cena. Yeah. John Mark. Still sad, but it's not yeah. as sad. Uh-huh. Then the other one is when like people when they report. Yeah. They uh use like common names like my uncle. Mm. Okay. Is dead. Oh yeah. So like you don't so immediately you think of a certain uncle. Which uncle is this? Yeah, one? you're like oh, mm-hmm. not that cool uncle. Yeah. Uncle Victor. Uh, oh no, it's Uncle Marshall. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. I mean no, no, but like yeah, sure. Yeah, oh. like ah, Uncle Waffles. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. Not, you know, let's touch wood. Yeah, and then you realize oh okay, it's a it's another uncle. Right? Uncle Vinny. You... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying like. <laughs> Yeah, if, if, yeah. If there's an uncle in the internet, he's dead. I'm just saying, hey, man. Yeah, yo, actually, yo. Yeah, but That's the sad. thing is, like, you're still sad. It's not yeah, like no, it's sad, you... bro. Like, no one wants uncle to yeah. die. Yeah. yeah, but if Uncle Waffles died, yo, just hmm. it's, 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 I don't know. Just cancel college. Yeah. yeah, cancel Coachella. Just stop making music, everyone. Damn, I've made this room sad. No, no, he's the same. I'm cool, man. I'm, You're cool. I'm also, I'm also ah, fine. Okay. Sorry, no, I was just thinking about like just honestly, I was thinking about Uncle Waffles' booty for a second. Oh, that's and, that, that that's <laughs> a very, if anything, I was happy. That, 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 I, I, didn't even, I didn't even see her face. I just saw that. Like, yeah. <laughs> she's a good egg, though. No, she's 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 good. She's good in a lot of things. What's your type outside of your like? Is your wife your type? Because I'm starting to realize a lot of people aren't dating their type. Like you have the, the the people that you generally fall attracted to, mm-hmm. yeah. versus the person you fell in love with, don't necessarily look the same. For me, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what's going on in my life, man. What do you mean? I don't even know what I'm into, what I'm not into. Okay, I'm 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 still figuring it out. Okay, that's what I can say. Skinny girls, fat girls, everything, boy. Spanking, like spanking. Just, 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 just be beautiful. Then I will figure it out. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm figuring it out. Okay, okay. And yourself? Um. Well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> there comes the politician. <laughs> yeah. So. Let me tell you a story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I think types are for like um, yeah, people who are, you know. Still just dating. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you want to get married, there's no type. Mm-hmm. What do you mean by that? He's saying his wife isn't his type. No. This is love of his life. 
That's not what I'm saying. Is that not what you're saying? So what are you saying? Yeah. So what I'm saying is, you know, because like when you say type, yeah, you know, you're thinking about yeah, features. You're thinking about, you know, I don't know, personality. Yeah. Um, and all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, Whereas what do you look for in marriage? Where as where you're looking for a wife, mm-hmm. you know, it's not about a type. Yeah. Right. You're looking for a wife material. Hmm. Oh yeah. Then what is wife material? Yeah. What is what? What is that? She must own a Tupperware <laughs> and a true piece. You're right. That make, that makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can just have like one piece, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and a three piece is a bit much. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah. So two piece, yeah. Can yeah. I? Can you have like piece. a normal like a container and just have like weird? No, tip away. Yeah. That's the best one. Yeah. Yeah, you're ready to be a wife. Hmm. Yeah. You heard it here first, folks. If you don't have Tupperware and a two-piece, no wedding, no low ball or nothing. You don't deserve an engagement ring. No. Yeah. In Sun Denis was not mine. No, that, 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 that's what he said. He said, get a Tupperware. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get and a Tupperware. Two and a two-piece. That's fire. That's the wife starter pick. What is your type? What was your type? Before, my, or is wife material your type? Yeah. I've, like, Always like uh, look yeah. for a wife mm-hmm. because like I knew from a young age that I was a husband material. Gosh. You know? Okay, so yeah. when you met your wife, you didn't know you wanted to marry her until you came to her kitchen. No, she came with tape away. Oh, uh, the... okay. And then you were like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's my time. <laughs> Wait, did she did, did she come this with tape away in a two piece? No, the other way, the the other day she came with a two piece. Oh, one day two piece. Yeah. One day two piece. Hmm. Yeah. This is on his knee. This, this is, is uh. This is it. This is wife material. So then, why did it take you nine years to get married? Oh, how long was it until she came with the two piece and the top away? Was it like year eight? Uh, and you were like... No, I can't remember. Like that was like from the onset because uh-huh. like immediately when I like decided, you know, because mm-hmm. I was like I decided to marry. I was looking for like. A, wife material yes mm-hmm. like, okay yeah and people ask me this question all the time like okay why did it take you so long yeah yeah firstly bro i was young oh yeah how, how, how old are you i'm like 28 you know oh yeah that makes yeah, sense yeah, yeah. like yeah why did you take so long bro what were you expecting oh, yeah, no. yeah yeah it makes sense oh you yeah. know it's so crazy it's, you know what's the crazy part is like our grandparents would have looked at like your age and been like oh that's the perfect time because my granny got married at like 20 Damn. Yeah. Met the dude when she was 19. Like, like marriage, marriage, not like fucking sex. No, full, no, full on, like, we're running away together, <laughs> owning a house together, we love each other. And <laughs> the, baby, the first born baby at 21. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's how things were in the past. You think that's the, the past age to get married? No. Well, no, for me on my side. But yourself? Yeah, for me, I, I think there is. 28. <laughs> it's not better. Okay, why 28? 28. What happens after 28? 28 is the best, right? Okay, at least for a man, I think so. Okay. 28, because you've had your fun. Yeah. No. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you, you. Because, like, with uh, 28, right? Yeah. So, firstly, mentally and biologically, like, you have grown. Okay. So, you're fully grow mm-hmm. to who you are okay right and i think it makes sense for you because like for me how if you marriage marriage is the final destination <laughs> because it ends either in death or divorce oh okay 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 yeah so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair. yeah and then you can just get married again yeah so if it's the second one so like uh you need to be like you have grown to yourself, uh-huh. to who you want to become. Yes. Um, although, yeah, like, even after marriage, like, there are minor changes that can happen in your life. Yes. But, like, uh, at 28, you sort of, like, know who you are. So, right now, you you you, 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 are, as a, you are a husband material. You feel like you are. You yeah, I was, I was a husband material from a young age. Uh-huh. But, like, I was still growing. You are still young, so you could still be young. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so and then like you grow up, 
But you can just wake up in the morning and be a red, like a husband material, like as a, as a boy. You're born, you're how? What is that? Look, some people will never be husband material, you know? What? Because they don't want to be. You know, like, I think there's a level of you you wanted to be married. It wasn't just that, like, you had to be married, you know? Hmm. Right? I'm asking. Yeah. You know, and then there's some people that literally every day they wake up and all they crave is problems. So it's like, hey, they're not, they shouldn't be married. They know they shouldn't be married because they're not going to cultivate a happy relationship if they get married. They just want, they just want bombs. <sighs> Okay, but okay, yeah, as an adult, yes, you 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 formulate like uh, maybe such way of living. Mm-hmm. But as a child, how? How are you born? As the material. Like, how did you know? Like, like, hey, I'm a child. Like, you like probably twelve. Like, yeah, yeah I'm like the man. Like, Do you... you you don't really know. Like, other people tell you, right? Okay. Like for me, yeah, I knew I was husband material because uh, all the mothers. And grandmothers wanted me to marry their daughters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm, okay. But at that time, none of the daughters wanted to date me. Right. Yeah. So then, because I was a nerd. <laughs> but, yeah. So like, that's where I, I, I knew because like, grand grandparents, you know, parents, those are the people that know, you know, if they pick you, they're like, yeah. You, you the guy. They, yeah. They can see. Okay. Why is it? Okay, why didn't the girl really want you? What, what was it about you? Did you have a reason or what? What's going on? I don't know, bro. Like, it's not like I didn't have reason. You had reason from a young age? I what don't you, know. I was, your, uh, like, for me, I never thought about girls when I was, you know, young. How young is young? Like, when I was in school, before varsity, it was just like, so, y- I see a girl is just like a, a sister. classmate. Okay, so yeah. you never thought about girls until you went to university. So it's not that it's not that the girls didn't want you. It's that you were concerned yeah, about the girls. I wasn't concerned. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. Oh. So my thing was maths, you know. So that's all, you know. Focus. You didn't care about. So like, yeah, because yeah, I. I didn't care, bro. Like. Eh. I wish I could be like that. Yeah. You. Oh man. What do you mean? I don't want to start about you, man. What do you mean? No, nothing. What do you mean? What do I mean what? About me? No. It's... No, it's... Nothing. No, it's something. Yeah, you're good. I know I'm good, but clearly there's something <laughs> that's making you... No, what you just told us in the beginning, like, today. Ah, dog, that was that was just, you know... That was youth, the innocence of youth. Mm, today I was busy with the maths. And you were busy with, like, uh, I don't know. It was love. You were young. Yeah. For love. Mm-hmm. Sorry, 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 sorry. My phone is ringing. You're never too young for love. I don't think so. But I think you are too young to like comprehend it. What do you mean? Like to comprehend the love, or what love is. It's crazy. Do you understand what is love? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you don't really understand what you're doing, but you can still do it. But do you understand now? What love is? I think so. Like me now in my current age. Yeah. Yeah. So then, I, I don't know, man. Uh, you, you the guy, man. You always have advice about things, man. You know, maybe there's a random guy out there, you know, you're just thinking about marriage. Yeah. Or thinking about a funeral or meds. I don't know what he's thinking about, right? Yeah. So I just want to know about how do you view like love, what is love to you? How do you understand love? Yeah, man. So for me, how I see love is that love is not something that you get, it's something that you give. Hmm. And even when like you you give the love, you know, it's uh you don't say I love you. Okay. Right. They say, Oh, you love me. Mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't make sense. You don't put your dad, you're like, hey, you love me. No. Like a question. No, so it's not like a question. Right? A statement. So you don't say, 
I love you. Right. Okay? They actually say, oh, Jerry actually loves me. You mean okay, they need to feel, okay, I think they so need to they, feel the love that I give out. So yeah, they see your love. Okay. They don't hear you. Oh, they so. see it. But I, I, I still need to say it, that I love the person. So right? love isn't a statement, it's an action. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So like you say it, right? Yeah. But um, when you say it, you confirm. Okay. Saying it is confirmed. So, so love is not affirmed, it's confirmed. Huh. Okay. Right. So, so, so love is not affirmed, it's confirmed. Huh. So they already feel loved. They already see the love. Yeah. And yeah. when you say, I love you. Yeah. It makes sense because you are confirming. Mm. Oh. Damn. Good. Yo. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm a big words of affirmation. Guy. But I get, I get what you're saying. Is that your love language? Yeah, for sure. Aye. For sure. Yeah, I know, for sure. That, that, like, I love, I love words, words of affirmation. Yeah. It was, there was a question that I had. Yeah. Just now, but I'm, it slipped my mind. I'm so sorry. It slipped my mind. It happens. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. do you, sorry. Now I remember. Yeah. Do you say, I love you to your wife often? Or do you, do you say, I love you a lot? Because I, whenever I, whenever I leave here, and I say goodbye to Jerry. I say, love you, Jerry. And he's always just like, shout. He's like, cool. No, but I'm cool, though. Yeah, I, I do say to, uh, to my wife. His wife. I love you. Yeah. And that's just, obviously, she said it's back. Yeah. Okay. Do you do say, you, I love you to a dude? To your dad? No. Oh. Yeah, no, no. Like, we didn't grow up like that. Yeah. There's correlations here with the moisturizing thing. And when he buys you the shoes, that's what he say. I love you. I love you. Will you say I yeah, love you to like, your son? Yeah, I think I'll. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm learning to be more modern. <laughs> I think I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna be a modern father. You don't wanna say I love you to your son? Yeah. I'll, I'll see how I feel. You're like him now. Being a politician with your husband. what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, my son is dead. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. That is your son, bro. No, if I feel love for him, sure. No, I, I love him. I, I should, right? Yes, I should love him. But yeah, so if I, will you say it to him? It depends. On why should, am I saying it? Sometimes he just wants to be told he's being loved by his dad. Is that what he needs? I'm pretty. Yeah. I mean, if he needs dad, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Dude, he's... Yeah, and you're right, bro. Like, you make me think, think, cause like, some of the, some of the guys, because like, they have everything, right? Yeah. So, they don't see that as love. Like, if you're growing up, you know, your parents are providing everything. Yeah. So now, that's a given. So you don't see that as love. Okay. So that's why you know, say, I love you, mm -hmm. right? But where you had nothing, and you see him bringing something. Oh, like You're like, ah. That's him saying, I love you. You got a privilege, boy. To and love. All I'm saying is, man, don't be scared to say I love you to your sons because they're men. That's really weird. That's your son. If it was a random stranger, someone you don't know, even us, I understand, Shab, you grew up that way, so you can't say I love you to a dude, cool. But your son, bro, that's your son. It's not gay. He's your son. I love him, yes. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know him yet. But sure, I will love him. You're going to know him. Yeah. And if you I will ever, love him. And if there's ever a moment where you can say I love you to your son, say it. All right. I will say don't, it. Like, like, you don't... Things are weird because you make them weird. It doesn't have to be weird. Or this is taboo or something. You make these things. These are like mental blocks. You can just say it. No, I will see Mm, okay. Anyway, I don't want to force you to say I love you to your son. You don't have to say it. Yeah. Mm. But if you are my son in the future, yeah, type shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that is uh, the episode. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is random, guys. This is Jerry McSpanky, one of the funniest people on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. And over there, we have our amazing guest, Nsindeni. Actually, I don't know your surname, Nsindeni. Do you, do you no. say 
Ndogo. Ndogo. Yeah. Nsundeni. Please say it because I don't want to butcher your name. Yeah, Ndogo. There we go. Nsundeni yeah. Ndogo. And yeah. this has been Kawane Muloye, the random guy in the world. Yes. So, if you're in the world, subscribe. Mm-hmm. Like, comment. Uh, share. 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 And subscribe. And tell yeah. the random dude. Yeah. We in there. Oh, girl. Because we don't discriminate here. Yeah. Yeah. A girl. And a dude. Will you tell your daughter you love her? You know, never mind. Never mind. It's fine. No, I'll, I'll hug you. Sure. Yeah, sure, sure. Will you hug yourself? I'll give it. I mean, okay, yeah. no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So, yeah. Sure. Sure. Random guy.